completely unreasonable. How will I see to this? Hubie, what are you doing here? A routine matter. No cause for concern. Ah, so it's something to do with AD then. And? She really is all you ever think about, isn't she? Look, I know you're doing all this so that she'll like you, but if you go too far, she'll end up pushing you away. Maybe even hate you. This has nothing to do with swaying Lady Edelgard's sentiments. I am simply her humble servant. I do what is in her best interest. Whether she cares for me or not is irrelevant. It really doesn't look that way to me. I bet you'd follow any order AD gave if you thought it would make her like you. Am I right? Any order? <laughs> what a thing to suggest. But the answer is no. I will decline any directive that I deem would not be beneficial to her. Is that right? So, just for example, if Aidy commanded you to find yourself a suitable wife, would you do it? If it would benefit her in some way for me to marry, then yes, I would marry. Mm, it's easy to say that now, with no bridal party in sight. But if it was the day of the wedding? Nah, I don't believe that. I don't care what you believe. My only wish is to see Lady Edelgard fulfill her ambitions. All other matters pale in comparison. Hubie, pale in comparison? You've seen too many operas. I don't think you understand how the world works. At all. And I don't care what you think, either. I would make any sacrifice to support Lady Edelgard. It's a shame you've never experienced such devotion. You're right. I don't have anyone like that right now. But... maybe someday I will? Then maybe someday you'll understand. Until then, we will never see eye to eye. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much to do. Hubie, I don't get you. Although I do find your point of view just fascinating. <laughs> Hey there, Hubie. I've been thinking about our conversation the other day. And I've just got to know, do you really love Aidy? If it's one or the other, I suppose it would be closer to love than to hate. Why? Ah, uh, I knew it! That's why you work so hard for Aidy. Oh, Hubie, I finally get you. You're just another servant suffering from unrequited love for their mistress. <laughs> You completely misunderstand. Unrequited love. Do I really look like the kind of drooling simpleton to have that kind of motivation? I'd like to say yes, but I know you just argue. Fine, Hubie. Tell me your situation. My situation is simple. I am walking a path. Oh, do go on. Everyone has a path in life. Lady Edelgard has shown me mine. It is just beside her own. So we walk together side by side. We stride ever forward, yielding to nothing and to no one. So... you're sharing the same dream? <laughs> Bluntly, yes. But it's more than just a shared dream. I have many feelings toward Lady Edelgard. Gratitude, respect, Awe, empathy, trust, hope. Okay. I was teasing you, but I gotta say I'm just a little bit jealous of you and Aidy. That you're able to embrace these feelings and stride forward along the same path. You're lucky, Hubie. I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to experience anything so utterly... operatic. Why not? Because I figure the best quality in a partner would be that they make me happy. And loving another is really about wanting to be loved. I'm pretty sure that's different from how things are with you and Aidy. Hubie, I've been thinking. What's this all about now? It's about what you said before, 
about your path. You mean the path that Lady Edelgard and I walk? I guess I don't really understand that kind of thing since I've always been focused on my own goals. But you, Aidy, Professor, all of you are fighting for an ideal. That's big. It touches everyone. Then there's me, with my hands full thinking of just myself. One person seems enough to me. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Do you have something more to say, Dorothea? It is unlike you to seem so uncertain. <laughs> I guess so. I'm sorry, Hubie. It's just, I've been thinking a lot lately about whether AD might command you to marry me. What? Perhaps AD might command you. No need to repeat it. I heard you quite clearly. Like I said, my hands are full thinking of just one person. But if you and I were devoted to one another, maybe we could strive for the future you believe in. Maybe I'd finally understand your path and be able to think about more than just myself. Seems it's my turn to not understand. Did you just propose marriage as a way to get to know me? How exactly would such an arrangement benefit me? Oh, it'll benefit you. Go on. Well, this path you're walking with Aidy will have one more loyal follower. Isn't that enough? I suppose it may well be. Your contribution to our cause has been noteworthy. I've no complaints about your battle prowess, either. And if you are able to walk the path as I do, that would be something very special. So, will you consider it? This is all because of you, you know. You made me wonder what it's like to be wholly devoted to another person. <laughs> Alright. I'll consider it. Thank <laughs> you.